Hey YouTube, it's GW here with my first video segment for YouTube. Yay! Today I'll be doing a card of the day review for Zombie World. Uh, this is going to be a video response for Underworld 6667 and his challenge to his subscribers in order to review a not commonly used card. Now, Zombie World is not commonly used because quite frankly it stinks in the main deck most of the time. However, it can be an effective side deck tool against many of today's common deck types. Now what Zombie World does is all monsters on the field and in any graveyard become zombie type monsters. And neither player contributes summon monsters except zombie monsters. Now this is an effective tool because it limits many options where the opponent will have a, now have a dead card in their hand and they won't be able to utilize the cards in their hand the way they would like to. The first thing it does is it stops many synchro type monsters that need a specific type monster, such as Tempest Magician. Now, Tempest Magician needs a spellcaster type non-tuner monster in order to be synchro summoned, and with Zombie World on the field, it cannot be synchro summoned. Next, it's a good side deck option for plants and plant debris heim decks, in that cards like Spore cannot trigger their effects because monsters in the graveyard are considered zombie type monsters. So Spore just sits in the graveyard and does absolutely nothing. Uh, next, uh, with the release of Formula Synchron, um, Monarch decks are going to get a huge boost. Now, in order to get a Monarch's effect, it has to be obviously tributed. Well, with Zombie World on the field, no Monarchs. No effects, no nothing. However, you do have to be careful of Dark Dust Spirit in that many Formula Monarch decks do tech at least one Dark Dust Spirit. Next, it's a pretty good side deck option for Black Wings. Uh, why Zombie World is a good side deck option for Black Wings is because it stops their main disruption, and that would be Icarus Attack. Icarus Attack has to tribute a winged beast type monster on the field in order to get its effect. All Blackwing monsters will be considered zombies when Zombie World is on the field. So therefore, Icarus Attack is just another dead draw. Now decks that Zombie World can be useful in as a whole are, well, zombie decks obviously. Because, you know, 200 attack boosts I guess is something if you're just getting started. But other decks that this is good for is, I personally have a Lava Golem Lockdown deck. And it's very good in disturbing the opponent and making sure that they don't tribute monsters or abuse cards like Icarus Attack or Mobius in order to destroy my back row. Uh, it's also a great side deck card. Um, it's really not as universal as a main deck card, but is a pretty decent side deck option if your meta is, you know, full of. Mobiuses and other monarchs or some sort of plant variants and whatnot as an, another option to massive restrict if you're you're you know running royal decree or something you can't run massive restrict take a look at zombie world uh, again um, take a look at underworld six 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 seven if you haven't already uh, great YouTube great content uh, subscribe to me if you haven't already and give him a look and subscribe to uh, just Look out for more videos from me, and uh, peace out, YouTube.